what I'd like for you to take home from today is, is the ability to stand back and do a general assessment of which drug might be involved or a combination, whether or not the issue is an adverse drug reaction, meaning this isn't what was intended, this is an aberrant response, maybe they got high as the drug would normally make you high, but they were naive to the drug or it was more than they wanted and they panicked or got frightened all the way through to people who come in unconscious or people who come in convulsing. In practical terms, that means we're going to talk about intoxication and withdrawal. Uh, and your ability to understand what you see in terms of is this person demonstrating these behaviors because they're loaded uh, or they're in withdrawal. The talk this morning will start with a general overview of drugs, uh, what they are, how they work, uh, different kinds of intoxication, uh, the point in time at which they begin to manifest dependence on the drug, uh, the signs that they're moving towards need for understanding of the potential for withdrawal from drugs, what does that mean, how do you do it. So that first section is going to be just a general orientation to drugs. Uh, and we're going to focus on three groups, uh, sedative hypnotic drugs, opiate drugs, and stimulant drugs. Uh, and we're going to look both at intoxication and withdrawal uh, in those three areas. So after this sort of general orientation to drugs in general, I'm going to then take each of those drug groups, sedative hypnotics, including alcohol, uh, opiates, including some of the new prescription opiates, uh, and um, stimulants, especially methamphetamine.